Hi, I'm Mr. Stolpkicker, and uh, no, uh, Stolpkicker is not my uh, last name, and it sure as hell ain't my uh, first name, and I don't even know why it's my YouTube username. So, uh, I'm Mr. Stolpkicker, like I just said, um, and uh, this is the yearly film project. I will be doing every uh, second Thursday, um, every two weeks, and this is my first time uh, in front of the camera, uh, usually I'm just uh, using my audio and uh, reading some news um, but this time it's not so uh, be kind it's my first time it won't be as easy but okay so I'm going to start with my uh, favorite performances of the year and uh, if I can be totally honest have a good year for performances uh, to be honest I thought uh, 2009 was a pretty weak year for films in general and uh, the movies that were very good were kind of ignored in my opinion Especially by the Academy. Um, but okay, I'm gonna start. Um, so, uh, actor in a leading role. Uh, like I said, I'm not too enthusiastic about most performances, except maybe for actor in a um, leading role. Uh, because I thought the other performances of an actress, supporting actress, supporting actor, I don't think they were that good, that great. Um, but So I won't be going too much, talking too much about it. But, uh, okay, let's start. So, actor in a leading role. Um, third is um, Jesse Eisenberg. And no, I know what you guys are thinking. It's not for Zombieland. It's actually for a small independent movie uh, directed by Greg Mottola. Um, Adventureland. Um, I think this is a movie that not a lot of people have seen. Uh, it's a small movie. And uh, it has this great spirit about it. Um, I encourage people to see this movie. It's... It's just a delightful film, and uh, yeah, uh, I love this film, uh, and Eisenberg is very good in it, perfectly cast, and um, yeah, check it out. Second is uh, Brad Pitt for Inglourious Bastards, one of my favourite films uh, ever. I think it's good, I mean, it's not great, it's not Oscar worthy, I know why he didn't get a nomination. Um, he didn't have any emotional depth or anything, but it was, it was fun and he was clearly just enjoying the part and it was a smoothly written uh, role and yeah, I like it. And the best performances, performance in my eyes is someone who I generally, uh, I didn't really like him before this film. I didn't dislike him, but it just wasn't, you know, part of my favourite actors. But uh, with the performance in this movie, he definitely is. And that is George Clooney in uh, Up in the Air. It's a movie I've actually underrated myself. Uh, the first time I saw it, I wasn't kind of impressed. Um, but I've seen it a, a second or third time and uh, I really like it. And um, I think his performance is really good and it was definitely better than Jeff Bridges. So now I'm going to do uh, Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. Uh, third place is uh, the opposite of the opposite star of um, Jesse Eisenberg in Adventureland, and that is Kristen Stewart. This movie um, has shown me that she really can act and she can really be nice, just have a low-key performance and be a good actress. And um, I really liked her in this film. She was uh, great. Uh, second uh, is uh, Meryl Streep in Julie and Julia. It's Meryl Streep, so of course she's going to knock it out of the park every time. But... Uh, yeah, she's good. Um, it's not it's not my favorite performance, but it's a good performance, so I recognize it. And my favorite performance is uh of an actress who uh before I uh saw this movie I've never heard of um, but that is Melanie Laurent of uh, Inglorious Bastards. Um, she plays this French Jew, uh, Shoshana, and um, she has her own uh cinema. Uh, and I'm not gonna go too much into the plot. I'll do that when I talk about the movie but uh yeah she's a great performance a very very underrated performance she was definitely ignored by all the awards uh, uh all the awards groups and um she was usually the best performance uh, of an actress uh supporting actor um I, it's not really a difficult one i'll just go over it quickly um on third place is woody house in zombieland um I like that movie. I'm a big zombie fan. Um, like you can see, The Walking Dead, a uh, graphic novel about zombies, and it's a TV show. 
which I uh, yeah, encourage everybody to watch. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I like this movie. It's uh, it's funny uh, and it has good action. Woody Harrelson was, I mean, he's great in this role. It is his role, and it's kind of his movie. He overshadows Jesse Eisenberg, who is uh, lead. But second is uh, Stanley Tucci, uh, Lovely Bones, uh, a movie that I wanted to like so much, but I just couldn't. I just I couldn't get into it, and I guess I wanted to like it because of uh, Shosha Ronan. I wanted to like this movie, I didn't. But Stanley Tucci was definitely the best thing about this movie, and uh, he got an Oscar nomination and uh, deservedly so. And the favourite, best uh, performance is an obvious, I mean, it's obvious who's that gonna, who that is going to be. Um, and it is Christoph Waltz, um, who plays uh, Hans Lander. And he owns this role. I think this, the year 2009 was the year of the supporting actors. Because he was really, really good. And um, there could not have been anyone else. And you could... Uh, yeah, Christopher Waltz, great. Um, I can't say any more because I know everybody who has uh, seen it, I mean, knows the performance. It's it's one of the best uh, in a, maybe this decade, one of the best, probably. Best support, supporting actress. So, uh, third is actually Kruger of Inglorious Bastards. Uh, she's very good. Uh, she surprised me. I uh, didn't expect her to surprise me, really. But she did, and she's great in the movie, and, uh, um, second, well, this could have been a tie, but I had to choose someone, and if I'm going to be honest, second is, uh, Viva Farmiga from Up in the Air, and first is Anna Kendrick of Up in the Air. Anna Kendrick, uh, delivers a stronger performance, um, I don't know, I just, I liked her a lot, I liked Farmiga in this movie as well. But I'm just gonna say Kendrick. So now I'm gonna talk about my um, favorite movies. I'll just list uh, five to one and my honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are The Hurt Locker, overrated. Um, Avatar, overrated. But I enjoyed both of them. Both of them anyway. But I still are overrated. Precious, overrated. Um, District Nine. Like that, it was good. <clears throat> Up, uh, great movie. Well, could have been in my top five, but I think it's like just slightly sixth. Uh, Zombie Land, uh, my top five. Up, The Hangover, a uh, great comedic movie. Um, so disappointed about number two, the sequel, but in my eyes, that never happened. I mean, there's only Hangover One, they never made a Hangover Two. Um, Number four, um, hard decision, but I made it. Number four is Adventureland. Um, it's one of those movies that you just don't expect to be that good, that emotional, emotionally striking movie, but it is. And I really encourage everybody who hasn't seen it yet to see it. It's one of the best movies of the year, definitely. I, I could have put it on number one, but I didn't. It, Number three, um, it could have been number two, it could have been number one, but I put it on number three. It's Up in the Air, um, starring George Clooney and Anna Kendrick, Fever for Amiga, uh, Jason Bateman, uh, directed by uh, Jason Reitman. Uh, this is a great movie. Uh, like I said, I underrated it first first time I saw it. I didn't uh, didn't like it. I bought it on DVD anyway. I watched it twice at home. I think uh, maybe a four time. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, I, I know I always say it's great, but it is. Number two is actually, uh, to be honest, it's my favourite movie, which is weird. Why would I put it number two? I just, I just do. <laughs> um, number two is 500 Days of Summer, uh, starring Joyce of Gordon Lever, who is just becoming such a great actor. I hope he gets an Oscar nomination for 50-50. I haven't seen it yet, but um, I hope he just does. I mean, he he should get one. He should have got one for uh, should have gotten one for this movie. And I know what you're thinking. Why did you leave him off the list for best actor? Cause um, kind of like uh, it's an 
understated performance, I gotta admit myself. Uh, he is great, he is the wall, he is Tom Hansen, but it's understated and it's not a flashy performance like you expect in a rom-com. It's not, I mean, he does have his great speech, well, kind of speech in the, the conference room when he quits. Uh, well, I should say now, spoilers, watch out. Um, but, I mean, he's he's great, uh, he's funny, he's emotionally, he just drags you into the movie and you can't, you kind of relate to Tom Hansen. Uh, and it's, wow, that ending is unpredictable, even though the movie starts with, this is not a love story, which is not a spoiler, because it says it in the trailer anyway. Uh, and my favourite movie is Inglorious Bastards, um, written and directed by the great Quentin Tarantino. And it stars um, Brad Pitt, Melanie Laurent, Diane Kruger, Michael Fassbender, uh, all these great actors. Um, and uh, I fell in love with this movie right from the start. I mean, it's Tarantino. I love all of his movies, except for Death Proof. I'm not a big fan of that, if I'm being totally honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely campaigned wrong. With, uh, with that, I mean, uh, people said, uh, if you look at the trail, oh yeah, it's an action, it's a revenge movie, and we're gonna see uh, heads, uh, I mean, battered with a baseball bat, which we did, but I think everybody was expecting it every second, every minute of the movie, we're gonna see a Nazi to get killed or something. Uh, because if you look at the trailer, it, it, that is what it shows you, and it is what you think it will be. But, um, Knowing Tarantino and his uh, love for dialogue, I told my friends, it's not going to be like this. I mean, don't expect a, sense, a movie without a brain, just people killing each other. It's not going to be like that. Um, so, this was uh, my first video for the yearly film project. I know it wasn't great or anything, and but it's my first time, and I hope I'm going to get better with this. And um, so... I mean, don't be kind in the reactions. Um, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you next time as well.